Today, we're getting hyped for the upcoming iPhone 16 Pro. Apple's next big thing is rumored to be packed with upgrades, and let me tell you, it sounds incredible. Let's start with the engine under the hood. Every single iPhone 16 from the base model to the Pro Max is getting a massive performance boost with Apple's brand new A18 chip. That's right, no matter which iPhone 16 you choose, you're getting top of the line power. On top of that, all iPhone 16 models will come with at least eight gigabytes of RAM. This is a huge jump for previous models where RAM varied depending on the price you paid. What does this mean for you? Buckle up. The A18 chip and eight gigabytes of RAM will allow you to run the latest Apple intelligence features smoothly. These features enhance everything from your photos and videos to the overall way your iPhone works, making it feel faster and more intuitive than ever before. Now let's get to the exciting stuff, the camera. According to leaks, Apple is shaking things up with their camera suppliers. They're still using Largan Precision for their impressive Tetraprism Periscope lens, but a new company, Genius Electronic Optical, GSEO, is joining the party. This is a big deal because it allows Apple to equip more iPhones with their high-end camera tech. Remember the Tetraprism zoom lens that was exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Well, get this, the iPhone 16 Pro was getting it too. This means you won't have to break the bank for the biggest model to get the best camera features. Speaking of size, the iPhone 16 Pro is sporting a bigger and better 6.3-inch display. This is a noticeable jump from previous Pro models and sets it apart from the base iPhone 16. But a bigger screen isn't just about bragging rights. It provides more space for all the amazing tech inside, including that powerful periscope zoom lens we mentioned. Think about it. A larger screen means room for a bigger battery, improved cooling, and of course, that incredible zoom technology. But why is Apple making these changes? It's all about giving you more choice. In the past, Apple's more affordable iPhones haven't had all the bells and whistles of their pro counterparts. This pushed many users towards the Max versions, making them the top sellers. With the iPhone 16 series, it seems Apple is spreading the love more evenly. By making the iPhone 16 Pro more tempting with features like the larger display and periscope zoom, Apple is encouraging users to consider both Pro models. This could lead to a more balanced distribution of sales and potentially even higher profits for Apple. One way Apple is further distinguishing the Pro models is with the display technology. While the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus are expected to stick with standard 60 Hz refresh rates, the Pro models will boast higher refresh rates for smoother scrolling, better gaming, and an overall more responsive experience. Once you try a high refresh rate display, you will want to go back. The iPhone 16 Pro is shaping up to be a true game changer. With a powerful A18 chip, stunning camera upgrades, and a gorgeous Pro display, it's clear Apple is aimed to deliver the most advanced iPhone yet. If you're looking for the best of the best, the iPhone 16 Pro might just be your perfect match. What features are you most excited about for the iPhone 16 Pro? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech news and updates. See you next time. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. 
Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest this Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, Built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops, this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0 which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So, what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.